back in the yard. Found this last night outside my house, basically. Barbecue. So I have to get ready to do an inspection. It's coming up. I actually have two to do. Two inspections. I have two inspections. One's a house. Not not super old, but you know it's older. And and I have a apartment one. It's just a little renovation, a couple walls or something. Okay. I got a package from uh, a viewer. I'm gonna make a unboxing here. I actually just opened it up just to see what it was exactly. If there was any notes in there. No notes in there, but uh, came to my PO box. Came from a viewer locally here. So uh, I appreciate this, uh, all the stuff you sent me, the viewer. Um, pair of gloves, they look really, really good actually. Super good. Actually, two pairs of gloves. Impact. Which come really, really, really handy. And then um, the, these are their. There's glasses, glasses there, double wrap, another glasses here, these are actually nice, I like these actually, look pretty good, uh, these must be wipes for the glasses, lens wipes, that's awesome, uh, real cool uh, bolt, uh, actually cable cutter, which is a good size, good for cutting cords, even uh, these will cut copper, like when you're doing copper, in like houses and stuff, right? Only things you need the clearance. If you have easy clearance, you can cut all copper no problem with this. This is good for big cables, whatever. That's a really good pair. Really expensive. I uh, got some some bags. Got a good set of channel locks here. These are actually pretty really really good actually. I don't have a pair of this. It's hard to find these better tools. I figure how how to adjust this. But, uh, I don't know, figure it out. Like something simple, but, anyways, good pair of channel locks. Good pair of, uh, uh, vice grips, but they're always coming handy. Actually, you know what? Let me just use that for my back lid for now. Uh, I got some cutoff blades here, different, different style of cutoff blades, some bigger ones, smaller ones, thicknesses and stuff. So I want to start doing some metal fabrication and different things. You know, you want to learn, right? I want to see other cars out. And then I'm going to dedicate a corner for a garage sale. And this way I could just sell whatever crap right away. Here's a bunch of different um, extension nut drivers for a drill. So that should come in handy. You're always losing the sizes. And this is actually pretty long too, so they're pretty handy. I got some uh, driver bits here. I see all kinds. Oh, torques right on. Some a lot of torques. These are the ones you always, uh, you know, you have problems with the torques a lot of times. There's lots of uh, different bits, torques. These are all torques. There's a variety of different uh, styles here. Perfect. Awesome. I really thank you very much. It's always tools are always handy, you know that. Tools are always uh, you lose them or they get broken or these are gonna come really handy. These will be awesome. Because I wanna start uh you know, say for instance if I want to clean stuff up, like you can just buff stuff up with this, right? Especially from fabricating, you know, metal, like I'm gonna be fabricating some fabricating some metal and it's rusty right now, so you know, I'll grind the corners a bit to weld it, but I, I don't want to buff it to make it shiny and paint it. So this stuff will be awesome, really good. So I really appreciate this uh, gift box. It's all going to come in handy. All going to come handy for uh, scrapping and stuff.
loves and everything. So thanks very much. Uh, uh, I got an email saying that he forgot to put down any writing in the box, but he sent, he let me know there was a box coming. I'd expect it to be such a big box anyways, but thank you very much. I really appreciate it. If anybody wants to send me a, a card just to say hi, whatever, or, you know, if there's a tool that you use and you think it might enhance what, what I can use in my, you know, scrap outs and so on or my videos, whatever, you know, especially guys tell me about like, you can get some special bits that will open any type of screw. I'm not sure what they are, where they are. If you know anything, give me an email, let me know. Okay, yeah, that's it for this opening. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much for this. Um, also, I, I was told, someone mentioned something about spring cleanup. Yes, it's going ahead in March. There'll be spring cl cleanup in Delta, Ladner, uh, Tawasin. So there'll be probably at least two weeks of uh, like major, major spring cleanup. So I'm going to work it really hard, but I'm not sure. My strategy is maybe to take try to get a couple loads a day on this truck. Wife will be driving the white van behind me and different things will be in the white van just as like if you watch my videos before. The red van will be also for the smaller stuff once the white van's full and because I can probably dump the loads here if I want. If not, I'll dump it directly because what I'm going to do is um, just get the heavier stuff right away. Anything heavier fill the bin up. Might not be a processing every little thing but the majority is to get the weights right. Anything that's better than Ferris will go into the vans. Some of the bigger appliances go into the white van. And then after that, <clears throat> I can dump it really good. Once this is all paved, that's what I want to get on top of straight away. I'm going to run a load tomorrow. After I finish my job, so I can load most of this, right? And then Monday or Tuesday, we have to get this clear 100%. I need to get this on top of it right away. So by March, this is all done here. And I have my area to work with. And then I could just go get, get my yearly stock. Because when, last time I did spring cleanup, I had about, um, you've seen all my e-waste, right? A lot of my e-waste came from the cable boxes, converter boxes, all sorts of cool stuff, right? And I think I made last year, or last time they did it before they canceled, I made about 10000 So that's a really good spring cleanup. It's a really big, big money maker. And you get interesting stuff, good stuff. Now I have the room, I could get stuff for resale too. So I can look at resale materials, I can look at scrap metals, I can look at e-waste, whatever there is, I'll, I'll find it. Okay, thanks thanks a lot. We're going to go check that house demo out shortly. Stay tuned. Okay, it's all uh, clean here now. So it looks a lot better. Probably have to go over some of the bigger stems, but majority's done. Like, no one cleans as good as I will clean, right? You know that, so... Anyways all the small stuff I'd prefer to clean it but I'll, I'll come here cut it right down to the line and then when they start greening up again and then you have to boom get them again but look at the big area it took it was right onto here right so now the corner is exposed good and then these trees I'm gonna have to eliminate part of the edges of the bit and then all these whatever's in the way here I'm gonna clean up but everything takes time but anyways once the demo is 100% complete then the framing will be done whatever framing there has to be done there and, and then different electrical guys whatever have to come in there and redo things and all that plumbing and all that okay is that house here uh, 1988 assessment value is 1.3 but these houses in these nice locations are a lot more money these are more like 1.6 1.7 now any good building lot this is really expensive there's a chair there, there's a lamp cord so 1988, should be no asbestos here at all it's too new but you know anything, they say 1990 and older this one is coming down too probably next door but the way it looks like they got a tree barrier there too but who knows oh look at this there should be live hope no one's living in here. Looks like ah, probably still living here. Got brand new bikes. What's that say? Hyper. Hmm. Neat looking. Huh. So what's the stats on this whole year? 
not sure if I can be able to videotape much. We'll see. 7,000 square foot lot, 15 feet down. Oh, they're doing renovations here, that's why. They put addition on there or something. In the back. So 15, 15, ground level. Second level, 640 square feet. Okay, stay tuned. Okay, we're in a house right now. Built in 1988. Um... They basically moved out, just got a couple things. They live in next door. They rented something. They're building a new house here, so they're just kind of moving a few more things out. So we're kind of on the main. It's a split. You got a lower level, a main, and you have an upstairs. So this is your, that could be an addition possibly. I haven't, I don't know, but that's probably your main area. Family room, kind of an office area. Laundry with a bathroom on the side. 1988, so it's original construction. Garage straightforward. So, like I say, they're not completely moved out, but they got most of the stuff out. This weekend, everything will be out, they said. There's your crawl space here. In these houses, like I say, there'll be no asbestos on any ducting or nothing. There'll be no. Oh, it's got a safe built in. Look at that. Hmm, that's a nice. So, anyways, um, want to look around the corner. We just have to look for uh, like paint cans and uh, excessive things or chemical storage. You, you just never know in houses, right? When you rent a motor, or the owners have stuff stored. Then when they move out, they leave it behind. So they have to take it out, get it taken care of, or recycled. So, we're going to go the upstairs in a second. Obviously, your phone rings when you don't want it to ring, right? So, basically, you have a bathroom here. It's original. It's original 88 stuff, I don't think. Three bedrooms up here. I don't know why the walls look so washed. Weird. Bathrooms. This one's been updated. Okay, in a second, they're almost finished. Another bedroom. Closet there. So okay. Anyways, just the layout here. It's 1988. Valued. I would say 1.5, 1.6 for sure, just because these uh, the market's hot right now. Look at how the lot goes, see? Lodge-shaped lot, right? Pie-shaped, I guess. Just like some properties are really hot right now. Good areas, good properties. This is a family-oriented area, so the price is a lot higher. But obviously, it's a tear-down job, regardless. They're tearing down. Okay, that's it on this uh, demo house here. 1988 okay yeah, i'm doing an inspection of a high-rise building here 24 stories uh not sure if i have any video to do inside but we'll see it says something about value 220 dollars or 220,000 value but we'll see okay look at this heavy duty checker plate wow wow that's what i call a great day these are like 20 pounds of checker plate at least wow that's awesome I'll take it. Well, it's probably around a tree, maybe, or something. Who knows? See? When you get lucky, you get lucky. That is one bonus, if you ask me. That's got to be 20 pounds of checker plate. Thick quarter inch. Okay, that house part build, I couldn't film. The guy was... I could have filmed with Juan. The guy was doing his little bit of demo there himself, but... I didn't, it was such a small place I don't want to film there really so anyways glad to get this portion there I was super happy uh, his building said it was worth two, two, just over 200,000 for the unit but he paid 400,000 about six six months ago or something for what he said so it shows you some you know there's no apartment for 200,000 no way impossible even 400,000 is pretty pretty small for apartments Okay, perfect. Uh, that's it for for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed.
Don't forget to subscribe, share, like. As always, have a great day. Thanks for watching.